Welcome to the Pro Charging Systems Technical Support video series. In this episode, we'll go over the proper steps in order to install one of our battery fuel gauges. You will want to start by deciding where you want to place your gauge. Some have them mounted on the outside of their hull. Others on their dash, or even placed in the battery compartment. If you are going to mount your gauge, make sure to use our template located inside the manual. Don't forget to remove the backing support clip before mounting. The closer the support clip is to the hull, the more secure the gauge will be. Locate the two wiring sets that were included with your gauge. If you have a lithium compatible model, it will also have an additional CT wire set. The wiring and operating functions are the same for both our single and our dual gauge like the unit pictured here. The red and black wires should be connected to the same most negative 12 volt battery, as any voltage higher than that will damage the internal components of the gauge. The green wire needs to be fastened to your most positive battery post. Verifying that the green wire is correctly installed is crucial as it is responsible for correct voltage readings. If you have a lithium model, Make sure that the blue current transducer has the arrow facing away from the battery post and has both the negative motor wire and negative charger lead running through it. The next step is to connect the starting or 12 volt side. This is a little easier as it is a simple two wire positive and negative lead set. Lastly, check that the wiring connector clips below the gauge itself are securely fastened together. We now want to power up the gauge and verify everything is functioning correctly. The lights on our standard gauge will flash an initial startup sequence and then show the current level of charge on the battery pack it's connected to. You will have three red, three amber, and three green lights to signify the level of charge. If it is a lithium model, you will start by having three amber lights flashing on the gauge until 13.8 volts is reached per 12 volt battery connected. Once this threshold is met, it too will switch to your current battery level. The gauge will switch into a standby mode after 60 minutes of inactivity on your battery pack and have one light showing for the current charge level. Now that the gauge is connected correctly, you will need to connect to it via our ProView Link app. The app is available at the Google Play or Apple App Store or at our website, dualpro.com. You will notice that the lights on your gauge will start to scroll back and forth, left to right and then right to left. This is our way of letting you know the gauge and app are currently connected. Once you have gone through the steps of connecting to the gauge, you will see all the current information that the gauge is collecting, such as the device's serial number, present state of charge, the state of health, total pack voltage, and the active DC current level going into your batteries. If you want to find out how to rename your gauge, or change the charging algorithm to match your setup by using ProView link. Check out our YouTube channel to find out more. If you're not sure of something or just need a little more guidance, please reach out to our tech support team at 615-471-5300 or submit a support ticket at www.dualpro.com/support. We'll be glad to help you through any stage of the process.